Ladies and gentlemen, this heavyweight bare knuckle bout is scheduled for five three-minute rounds and is presented by Picked Cherries. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 232.8 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of five wins, six losses, and he fights out of Levittown, Long Island, New York. He is known around the world as the Blood Axe. Introducing Eric Olsen. And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall. He weighed in at 222.6 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of two wins, one loss. And he fights out of Hamar, Norway, by way of Slups, Poland, introducing Simon Shrek Sinkovich. Our referee in charge, Wayne Spinola. Judge is ready, judge is ready, judge is ready. Yes, sir, need you out. Let him out, let him out, relax guys, you're gonna come to scratch. Here the cameraman is out. What are we doing? You're gonna put your lead leg front foot on the corner of this square. All right. Right, excuse me. All right, gentlemen, come to scratch. Lead leg front foot right there. Wait for me. Okay, ready? Fight! Here we go! Eric Olsen and Simon Sinkovich. Eric Olsen in the black green with the American flag. Simon Sinkovich gets caught in that corner very early. Not a lot of room. This is what I talked about with the grappling. Both of these men, Paulie, have a grappling background. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, Eric from Long Island is a big wrestling culture in Long Island, New York. And of course, Sinkovich, you mentioned, you know, he has that uh, judo and jiu jujitsu background. Uh, so uh, you're, you're going to see a lot of that clenching because I don't think they have a lot of adapt 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 adaptability at, at long range. Yeah, you know, Eric, he's got a really different style. There's a lot of things coach just will tell you not to do, but he's done it for so long it makes him difficult to fight. He's kind of duct taped his style together. Yeah, good point, uh, Robin. You know, a lot of times that, oh, you know, I forgot there by Sinkovic on the inside. But yeah, uh, good, good point, Robin. You know, a lot of times uh, when a guy is awkward, it makes him difficult to time. And inside this trigon, it's so small that you have to be at close range. And having a guy difficult to time at that close range can make things more complicated for you. Eric Olson told us fighting in BYB is very special to him. He's the longest active bare knuckle fighter here in the UK, being here since pretty much day one, 2016. He's fought in Valley Judo, he's fought UK to Poland to Sweden, and now his first American promotion. Very interesting to uh, see that the, the godfather of bare knuckle yeah. uh, in, in England being from Long Island. Yeah. <laughs> this is this a rough spot here. Eric kind of shakes it off. Oh. Sinkovich got hit with something. These three minute rounds are different for these guys too. BKB yes. is two minutes. And Eric said he always felt rushed in there. Oh, oh big right hard. Well, Eric he said he almost felt rushed, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, he, he felt rushed at, at a minute and a half. It's almost over. Now he's got a little more time to work. That's how he looked at it. And Paulie, you and I have seen it many times, but look how quickly one step back and mm -hmm. Eric Olsen is trying to adjust to the corner. Yeah. Simon's trying to pin him there. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. As soon as you get step back, we've seen that a few times already where guys wind up in the corners here. Uh, Eric's done a good job of slipping some shots. Uh, he's taken a couple of right hands as well, though. He got worn for the rabbit punches. Let's see if the fouls are starting here. We know about Eric. He doesn't mind breaking a couple He does not. He does not. Yeah, he will compete in any kind of combat on planet Earth. Uh, the wilder, the more interested he is. He was telling us some stories and unsanctioned things, yeah. crazy things. Yeah, yeah, he's an outlier. He's a wild one. The first, the first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. Eric could talk about Fight Club for about six or seven months. Now, you know, here on our first bout, you know, uh, uh, in England where they're used to BKB rules, already this fight would be a lot different if it was under BKB rules. There's been a lot of fighting in the clinch in this fight. Get off the cuts there by Sinkovic. Just circling out and, and popping up underneath the arm. Sinkovic goes to the body. Fight scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Heavyweight matchup to get things started from the UK. Sinkovic is, is 
punching nice on the exit too, exiting the clinch and striking. Let's see if he does it here. Round one in the books. Robin, what do you like to say? The hostilities? Yes. They've begun. <laughs> <laughs> we are enjoying them. Man, bone on bone at heavyweight in a tiny trigon. It's oh. just, it's a car accident already. <laughs> you can see the bruises on the guy's yeah. face already. Yeah. The corner of Simon Sinkovich, 40 years old, seven professional mixed martial arts battles, fought Valley Tudo, fought bare knuckle MMA, started training at 18 years old. His father was a karate coach. And he did tell us his mom is still not happy about him fighting. Here's some of the, the action from round one. Yeah, Simon landing a, a hook on the exit there. I think this is that uppercut Paulie mentioned. There, yeah, you see him as he pivots out to the left side of Big Eric. He's trying to throw that uppercut underneath. Round number two. Eric Olsen. <laughs> With the American flag on the front, what black trunks decorated with a little eagle and some logos for Simon Sinkovich. One thing about that awkwardness of Eric is he's often very hard to hit, but Simon's getting to him today. Yes, oh. Simon's landing, Simon's fighting aggressively. Yeah, Eric's got to be careful turning southpaw there. The one thing about uh, the new stan different stances is everybody can really punch out of the stances, but it's defending out of the new stance that makes things complicated. So you got to be careful when you change stances because you'll know, be secondary in your defensive minded ability. Oh, big right hand there by Singovic. I like how he did there. He kept. He kept uh, Olsen up, and he uh, wasn't able to duck, and he hit him with that right hand. Yeah, and ducking is kind of part of Eric's game, that sort of, the, like I said, a coach will, will give you heck for that, but he's done it for so long, it makes him hard to hit, but in that corner, it's tough for him to get away. Olsen fought for the cruiserweight title uh, against Carl Hobley. That's that, that's that evasive Eric style that I'm talking about, where he's just kind of doing, quote, the wrong thing, but it works. But here's the thing, Eric, Eric's got him missing a lot when he's up against the rope. Sometimes he's getting hit, but it's, it's, he's got to make sure he makes a guy pay off those misses. That's when you really start to take advantage. Oh, because Good eventually, because eventually single, if he's got nothing to pay for, he's going to keep trying. He's going to land up for cuts like that. Eventually, some shots will get through. So you want to start making a guy pay when you make a miss so that he's not as enthusiastic about leading. When asked about each other, Simon Sinkovich said, Nothing. What can you do on Eric Olson? I'll let you guys imagine what <laughs> Eric had to say about Simon. A lot of words you don't usually use on television. Yeah, we use them in the hockey ring, Robin. <laughs> you know, right. it's, That's right. it's, it's actually proper oh, there. Good jab by Singovic there. Simon has definitely been the aggressor so far in this fight. Oh, nice little check hook by Eric, though. And Simon's doing what you want to do against an awkward guy, which is just deploy advanced fundamentals. Yes. Gap, overhead right, up a cut. Oh, oh. Ooh. Crap in there. Little eye gouge. Finger in the eye. And that wouldn't be by accident. Allegedly. Allegedly. And you know what it is? I saw Eric getting annoyed that Simon had his head in his face. Yep. When you and that's mm -hmm. the thing about fighting bald guys. When you get in the clinch, they can put their head underneath your chin, and it can be sort of annoying. I saw Eric sort of getting annoyed with, with Simon's <laughs> head in his chin, and I don't know if, if the gouge was on purpose or accidental. The referee's having a word with Eric. But uh, right before that, you can kind of notice Eric's face. He was getting really annoyed with the, with the skull of, of Sinkovich being right in his face like that it in that clinch. Really doesn't take a lot to annoy Eric. <laughs> really no, doesn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite lines as we do see the medical team attending to what is, we hope, not a bad eye injury that's going to finish this fight. He said, I'm a Gemini. I have 38 different personalities. He said, I, I battle depression, now I live in England, which is very depressing. <laughs> so Eric, Eric is definitely a quote machine. Guy's got personality. Simon's kind of, Simon's got it rough with his eye. It's kind of rough over there. And I, you do. I, one thing you gotta understand with Eric too, he's been in King of the Ring, uh, uh, King of the Streets, yeah. or whatever they call it. And they, they yeah. allow our they, guy yeah. to be, he's, he's, a ex, he's very adaptive. <laughs> yes, he's skilled in the use of the digits in that way. Uh, and he 
will tell you about those kind of unsanctioned fights with glee in his eye yeah. <laughs> as he's talking about those things. It, it, even the, the most, like, the deepest combat enthusiast, it, those things can make you real uncomfortable. Well, he's, a, he's, a, he's an interesting guy, man. I told him yesterday he needs a, a, a reality show camera following oh, him around. <laughs> absolutely. He's, and he's, he's looking there in, a neutral, in his own corner like he's innocent. <laughs> say, what, say, what's the problem? <laughs> Well, sir, your finger has gone into this man's eye. That is the yeah. problem. Simon, well, we know one is another Simon, DQ. Yeah, Simon. And would, would it be, you, you, I don't know if you can make it a DQ because I don't know if you can deem it accidental or not. It's, it's, right, it's, right. it's up in the air. I mean, you were, you're just assuming here that, you know, he knows what he's doing and, and, he, and he made it on purpose. But again, you, you, you just, yeah. there's not enough yeah. there to see if it's on purpose. Let's see there. Well. You see, and I see he's going to get annoyed. You see, it's the face of Simon is right in his face. It's in his head, you see? That, I mean, the head of Simon is right in his face. And you see? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very you difficult see, to you see. Don't. You, you don't. don't. Yeah. <laughs> you people see, who, but you don't. I'm not the, calling him a cheater, but people who cheat get very good at doing it, it unseen. But, and, and in fighting, in combat, you know, we say, say this in my professional boxing career, it, it, it's only a foul if the referee notices it, you know? So it's, you can make it look like an accident. It's, a fight is a fight, and that's the thing. When two guys or two grown men are fighting for a prize, uh, you know, the guys are going to do what they have to do to, to get ahead. You try to see the angle yeah. here. Again, you see it there. Yeah. And if you notice, he was holding his head down with his other hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Which, no, that, no, which no, that's no, a lot. Which no, that's a lot. But the eyeball can do the same thing, too. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Yeah, sportsmanship is a concept, not one everybody necessarily agrees with. It doesn't exist in nature. You can't go into the forest yeah. and get me a bucket of and, sportsmanship. You and, know that's, yeah, and the thing is, man, when it's combat, it's two grown men fighting, it, it, it's... It, you, usually you save the sportsmanship till after, man. I mean, it's uh, you, you're in a different mindset when it's between bells and, and, and two guys are fighting. You know, it's just... Yeah, it's you're just, just trying to make your way through it. You like no, this, it, it, At the same time, you guys, yes, if you look in the rearview mirror, we know what Blood Axe brings to a battle. But from that angle, we did not see no. 100% yeah. what happened. Looks like yeah. Simon's okay. Yeah. Green Spinola has not deducted a point. No. So yeah. the battle we continues. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. And, yeah. Yeah, and, he, and you really can't deduct the point. That's nice, nice right hand there by Eric. Can't deduct the point because you can't see if it was done on purpose yeah. or not. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And that's that and gray area. So yeah. Yeah. And don't let it, that Eric's reputation <laughs> precede that, bro. Just Come with on. what I was going to say. <laughs> it is his <laughs> reputation and his history that's making us think that it is most likely. Well, that no, that no, doesn't no. mean it's What's the point? Well, now, now yeah. Oh wow! They caught this time. He got caught. Yeah. Two points. Two points. Wow. Well, the this second time it's hard to say it's an accident. Where right, the right, right. right? Eric is saying it was his knuckle, his pointer knuckle dug in, which you, again, you mentioned that he couldn't yeah. do the same yeah. thing if it was just that part of the knuckle. Which he said at the press conference yesterday. Very oh, nice jab. Oh, very loud and vocal. Nice jab by Eric. But, oh, and a hard, oh, right. big shot by both guys. When guys this big now, hit each other. Now both guys yeah. are angry too, so yeah. it's gonna mm -hmm. add it to the oh big shot there by Sinkovic. Oh, you nice saw the jab. Head snap back. Yeah, because he's on Sinkovic. Yeah. Now both short pouring it on. Yeah. Both Final of these guys are so proud. Yeah, that was a violent minute because they got oh. such a long break in between. Yeah. Yeah, they re-energized. Yes. They let it go. Yeah. He just has one way to adjust from uh, <laughs> A two minute to a three minute round. But a two point yeah, yeah. deduction for Olsen is it could cost them. I mean this no is question. this is uh you know, it's not a lot of rounds to work with here, you know, so And as you look at the flurry at the end of the round, Simon was I would say you guys would agree the busier man in the early part of the fight too, so yep. It may be stop or lose for Eric Olsen at this point. Eric doesn't strike me as the kind of guy who cares if he won or lost. He just loves the fact that he did damage to you. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes. And the people he here just, don't like He him. just yeah. dislikes you. He doesn't. He dislikes a lot of people. If he leaves you with damage that you can go home <laughs> thinking about it, I think he's satisfied. The fact that there is a contest. And he's doing that. Yeah, he's yeah. doing his part yeah. to do that. Yeah. The fact that this is a sporting contest is incidental to him. It's absolutely, to us, it's a, it's a sport to him. He gets to hurt a guy. But we're in England, we get yeah. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. I love doing fights here. You'll hear it a few times. Oh, oh yeah, love yeah. doing fights here. And we got a good one to get things started. Eric landed some real nice, very short punches at the end of that round. 
just inside, gripping the back of the head. Round three, scheduled for five. Olsen again, Pauly showed southpaw for just a moment. Yeah, yeah, but this time at least he's a little bit more defensively responsible, sticking out the right hand. Now he's back to the right-handed stance. Oh, big right hand. Sinkovic has had some success landing those right hands in this fight. You saw Eric jump, run in with his head there a little bit. He's got to be careful. He's already he, lost a couple points. <laughs> yeah, he is not too worried about that. Simon did tell us in the fighter meetings that he knows that Eric's going to do the same type of stuff again. So he is prepared for the stupid stuff. I, yep. I cleaned that up a little bit from Shrek. The stuff will happen, but you don't need to react badly oh, to it. And yes. that's how he's prepared himself. And you can see he has kept his emotions in check yes. thus far. Oh, right, gotta be yeah, you gotta be careful on the inside. Yeah. You know, Eric's looking very good tonight, actually. Stop, stop. <laughs> <Maybe> <laughs> more aggressive. Like hip toss. He was yeah. aiming for hip toss, right? With the, I, I was gonna go up to the experts here, but I could have sworn I saw him set for a hip toss. <laughs> you, 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 you saw the right meter. You saw correct, sir. Of course, Kayla Harrison's probably saying, hey, where am I right now? A uh, big combination. That hurt him. And Sinkovic is the one who throws in combination, if you notice. Yes. E Eric throws more so ones and twos at the most. But, but um, you see, Sinkovic puts shots together more. Yeah, Eric is, act is not cut. getting discouraged by that at all. If, if anything, he's coming on even more aggressive. I mean, he told us he's got a very hard head, and yeah, he's right, because he's taking some shots. Polly pointed out him coming in with his head down low. He likes to take punches off the top of the head with that super yeah. old-school bare-knuckle approach. But yeah, oh, I think that was... Uh-oh, again. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, that's got... Eric saying it was during the clinch in his punches. It's the same eye, too. Yeah, you know that there's going to be some operating outside the rules when you fight Eric, but once your eye starts getting beat up, that's, that's tough to take. I'm assuming at some point this thing is going to be a disqualification. It's certainly trending that way. That's a difficult thing to come back from, too. Those eye gouges, if they're constant, you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's not easy to get yourself back. It's not to mention, it could be a really catastrophic injury. Yeah. He's going to get no, it again. Yeah. yeah, it's brutal. Right, so, yeah. Fight is over. Simon Sinkovic unable to continue. Now, which what's the call now? Well, Maybe DQ. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. It's a tough one. That is a that is a scary dude to be putting bones in your eyes. Yeah. DQ or are we far enough into the five round fight that it goes to the cards? If it goes to the scorecards, yeah. score obviously yeah. with the deduction. Simon walks away with his arm raised. True enough. But again, as I said before, I don't think Eric even cares. He did no more damage. Yes. In his mind, he's satisfied. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yeah, he did what he came to do. He is a unique character, a very complicated, interesting, fascinating, wild character. All 38 of his yeah. personalities. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still think he deserves a reality show. Yes. But, oh, no question. I see that last, next, last exchange. I see he walks into a yeah. shot there, returns a little yeah. uppercut himself. And let's see what happens in the last clinch here. Rolls with the shots well. Again, yes. I, I thought he did a good job of that in the fight. He just doesn't make him pay enough. Then we didn't see, we didn't see, uh, we didn't get to see the actual work inside that clinch. Yeah, that is one of the unique facets to his game. He's just, his head is moving in irregular yeah. ways, yeah. you know? But you're right, you don't see him uh, be in balance enough to land back. Yeah, and that was yeah. when, in my boxing career, I remember even when I was sparring guys or fighting guys, I said, okay, if they had me missing a bunch and they had me paying, I would think about it. But once you don't have me paying for it, 
I start to think to myself, what's the worst that happens? Yeah. I miss, I'm just going to keep trying. I'm yeah, going to keep right. staying aggressive. Yeah. And eventually, you're going to tire out because you're making too many defensive moves. So making a guy pay is the key because that, this way you create doubt in his mind. If you don't create doubt in a guy's mind. Behavior. Yes. If yes. you don't create that doubt in the guy's mind, what the worst that happens is he's going to miss. He doesn't care. He'll he doesn't eventually, he's got no, no, no consequences for missing. Mm. He's going to keep throwing until he starts to finally, you know, get to you. Mm -hmm. And All right, will. let's get it over to Big Mo. He will tell us exactly the outcome of our first fight of the night. Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wayne Spinola calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of the third round, declaring your winner by a doctor stoppage, Eric Bloodax, or excuse me, Simon Shrek Sinkovich. He's still looking at Big Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still looking at Big Mo. Yeah. <laughs> A winner by disqualification, Simon Sinkovich. Yeah. Eric is disgusted. Yeah. <laughs> Eric yeah. is disgusted. He doesn't yeah. know what to be yeah. more disgusted yeah. at Mo or the rest. Mo better watch out. Yeah, it, but whoa, whoa, whoa. to your point, Paul, he, 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 yes, he lost the contest, but he won in his mind, yeah, you yeah. know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 